Where are you seeing the most demand uh, in, in terms of the kind of traveler you're accommodate, accommodating these days? Well, Miss, uh, if you look at uh, rising GDP in the U.S. and globally, uh, low unemployment, uh, rising wages, these are really good tailwinds for the travel industry and for the hotel business, especially at Intercontinental Hotels Group in the U.S., in Europe, in Asia, and in China. We're seeing rising demand. Look, uh, in this benign economy. Uh, we're executing our strategy, growing our business. We're over 5,500 hotels open around the world today, another 1,800 under development. That's over 7,000 hotels. We're welcoming travelers around the world. And I think that that's exactly how we're going to continue to execute our strategy. Are you seeing a lot of demand from business travel who are paying probably higher rack rates than, than, than the consumer? Yes. Look, when you have low unemployment, business is hiring. Uh, they're putting people on the road. We have high business travel, good leisure travel. If you look in the United States, we've set records at Labor Day, at Memorial Day, at Thanksgiving, at the 4th of July on travel. Internationally, we've had mid to single digit growth of international travel. And that is really a good foundation for going into the close of the year, into next year for global travel patterns. Uh, what sorts of hotels are you expanding, Ellie? I, I'm, I'm trying to get at what does a consumer want these days from their hotel? I mean, do they want something that's, uh, you know, lower cost? fewer frills kind of travel, or are they looking for the luxury at this point of time in the economy? You know, great question, Melissa. We cover the full range of travel from luxury to mainstream. Our luxury brand, Intercontinental Hotels, is the largest luxury brand in the world, over 200 hotels. We just opened our 200th hotel in Shanghai earlier this year. Um, we have another 60 under development around the world. Uh, our Kimpton Hotels and Restaurants, which we acquired in the United States a few years ago, where I think you people like to stay. Uh, it was the largest and best boutique lifestyle hotel brand in the United States. We've taken it global. We have now 22 hotels and international So are you adding to the like higher-end hotels? Paris, right? well, I mean, when you're adding, when you're taking yeah. a look at how many rooms are being added, right, within, within the intercontinental family, what sorts of rooms are they? Uh, it's, it's the full range. And our mainstream brands, Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, those are our largest brands. Over 4,000 of our hotels are either Holiday Inn or Holiday Inn Express. They are the largest brands in the world. We have the largest pipeline of development of those brands in the world. So it's really the full gamut from luxury to mainstream. Uh, we're growing in all segments very well.